any number of race cars. Was a champion a year ago in small block super modifieds. He's run a modified this year, running this year today in that 42 car, the Teddy Bear Pools entry. And behind him, the points leader, the youngster in the 43 out of Madison, Connecticut. That is Devin O'Connell. Up next, in car number 16, that is a Ford-powered entry. That is Todd Owen. The 24, that is the rookie of the year from one year ago. That's Scotty McMichael. Car number 18, no stranger to this racetrack, out of Farabush, New York, over in the Albany, New York area. That is Mike Scorzelli. The 73 comes in 20 points out of the points leader. The points lead, that is Joey DeWiron. Car number 21 out of Vernon, Vermont. That is Josh King, a winner a year ago and this, on the series. And Greg Nanesian in a former Dave Darling car. Is the number 28. He is the pole setter. All right, folks, we have a tradition with the Grand Estate Pro Stock Series. We want you to let these drivers know how much you appreciate what they're about to do. They're going to show the same to you. As they come by you, we want you to get on your feet, wave your hats, wave your purses, heck, wave your wives. We don't care. Just get on your feet. Show these guys a little love. Get on your feet. Give them a wave. Let them know you appreciate what they're about to do. They're going to wave out of the cars at you, folks. The Granite State Pro Stock Series Wave Off Lap. We appreciate you, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the staff, the management, and the competitors of the Granite State Pro Stock Series, thank you for allowing us to come in and have a little fun Friday night of the World Series. We do appreciate it. We do appreciate you allowing us to come into your house and have a little fun. So here we go. Tommy O'Sullivan, many, many time winner at this racetrack and a former champion. Todd Stone on the outside. In the 1X. Yeah. These two ready to do battle. So here we go. Off of turn number four, Bobby Blanchett atop the flag stand will turn him loose. As the green flag waves, Tommy O'Sullivan did not come up to speed. Not sure if there was a problem on that 16 car. We'll see if that flies. Todd Stone got out in front. Tommy O'Sullivan did not go. Looks like they're going to let that stand. We are underway now. Todd Stone out in front. Tommy O'Sullivan goes to work on the inside of Dave Farrington. Nothing doing there. Farrington in that orange car. And he becomes red number 17 in four. Here comes McDonald. Oh, a little bit of contact there between O'Sullivan and McDonald. McDonald able to come to third. Two brothers now side by side. Mike O'Sullivan on the bottom. Tommy on the top side. Off of turn number four. The two brothers racing for the fourth position. Tommy with the nose out in front. Mike on the bottom of the 0-8. Behind them, Ray Christian the third and Larry Gelina side by side. Out in front, Todd Stone trying to get away as Eddie McDonald now goes to work for the second spot. Side by side through, uh, through about the 10th position now as the racing hot and heavy air here in the early going. Stone trying to get away now. That Fort City G Stone Motors number one out in front. Eddie McDonald in second. Dave Farrington in third. Tommy O'Sullivan runs in fourth, then the battle for fifth. Mike O'Sullivan on the high side. That's the black 08. Larry Gelinas in the 37, looking to work to the inside now. Ray Christian up the outside of Gelinas. That is for about the fifth position, a three-car battle. Jimmy Renfro, the 15-year-old, right there as well. Then it's Darling and Derek Ranch from side by side. Off of turn number four, Todd Stone continues to show the way. But Eddie McDonald is running him down. Further back, side by side between Jelinas and Christian. Jelinas, the widely veteran. Christian, the relative newcomer. Those two battling it out. That is for the sixth position. Dave Darling off the pace. Darling looks like the left front has collapsed. The left front suspension has collapsed on that 52 car. For Dave Darling, the many, many times C-Car Speedway winner and champion as we've got a battle for the lead now. Eddie McDonald right to the back bumper of Todd Stone. Stone and McDonald, the two red car, duking it out for the top spot. Battle now for third as well. Barrington up high. Here comes Tommy O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan to the inside as he looks to pick up a spot. We've got a crash here on the front straightaway. Two, three cars. The point leader's in it. Devin O'Connell, the point leader, coming in. In that incident, doesn't look like much damage on the right front of that car. Larry Gelinas with heavy damage. Josh King has come to a stop. We shall see, but it'll be Stone on McDonald and McDonald in some order. Yes, Stone going to take the outside, McDonald the inside. Row two, that's Farrington. 
and Tommy O'Sullivan. Mike O'Sullivan rounds out the top five. Ray Christian in the sixth spot. Brad Babb in seventh. Eighth is Jimmy Rem for the youngster. Ninth is Todd Owen in the Ford powered machine. And the Mad Dog, George Bissett, in the 15 in the LeMountain Brothers car. So the lights are out okay, atop the pace on. truck. The lights are out around the speedway. We are ready to go. Everett Bingham peels that beautiful Rocky Ridge pace truck. Presented by Springfield Buick GMC, Down Pit Road. Todd Stone, the leader, sets the pace quickly out in front of McDonald. McDonald looks to the inside as they head for turn number three. Stone on the high side, in the one. McDonald in the bottom of the 17. Stone going to get clear now. Tommy O'Sullivan able to get clear of Dave Farrington. He'll pick up the third spot. Stone up the hill. McDonald trying to hold on to the bottom of the racetrack. Can't make it happen. Stone will hold on to the top spot. Now for the fourth position. Ray Christian on the outside. Works his way around Dave Farrington now as that battle for the lead continues. Brad Babb working up the inside of the racetrack in the red number 42. Out in front. McDonald hustles his way through the inside of the racetrack. Joss can't quite get the drive off. This time he does so. Pulls to the inside on Todd Stone. Stone on the outside. McDonald on the inside, a pair of red racing machines headed down the back straightaway for the lead of this race. Tommy O'Sullivan sits in third, Ray Christian back up to fourth now as he is having a nice run. Fifth is Dave Barrington and it looked like Todd Stone and Eddie McDonald might have made a little bit of contact down the front straightaway. McDonald now able to move up the racetrack in front of Stone. Stone looks to the inside as we go single file. Back through the fifth position, Brad Babb to the inside on Mike O'Sullivan. Jimmy Renfro trying to follow him through. A couple of spots back, Joey DeWire is the point leader, then Devin O'Connell right there behind him. O'Connell had a flat tire during his heat race. The tire was actually separating. The Grand State Pro Stock Series does have a four tire per race rule, so O'Connell was granted a new tire. So it looks like that has paid off, and around goes the point leader, Joey Dwyer, and actually second in points, goes through the spin cycle, three spins around and comes to a stop. So Joey Dwyer and comes to a stop here on the front straightaway. Looks like he might have a left rear flat on that machine. Heavy, heavy smoke three times around. And Joey DeWire comes to a stop. Nobody else involved. Hey, first, that first lap of practice went down into turn number one. The brake pedal went to the floor. Smacked the wall soundly. Team got the car put back together. Knocked a bunch of parts off of the right front. They were able to get it put back together. This one of Scorzelli's best tracks. His best finish came at this racetrack. A fifth place finish one year ago. So here we go. Stone. And McDonald. McDonald choosing the outside. Stone on the bottom of the racetrack. Off of turn number four, we are back under green. McDonald quickly out in front. Barrington looks to the inside, thinks about three wide, thinks better of it. Stone going to settle in the second behind McDonald. Tommy O'Sullivan up into third now. Good run there for Tommy O'Sullivan in the 16 car. That car proved itself one week ago as it went to victory lane. Now Tommy O'Sullivan trying to make it two weeks in a row. Mike O'Sullivan in fifth. The O'Sullivan brothers love this racetrack. Dave Farrington works to the inside. Now looks like Brad Babb up on the outside. Babb involved in an ugly incident in the spring. At the Waterford Speedball. Hit the wall a ton after running over a part that had fallen off another car. Cut a tire and slammed the wall. Driver's side first broke his leg out of the car for half a dozen weeks. He's been doing some driving since then. Todd Stone getting, or Tommy O'Sullivan rather, getting very aggressive under Todd Stone. Early in the race and Tommy O'Sullivan wants that position bad. Looks to the inside on Stone. Can't quite get it done as they head for turn number three. He'll give it another shot now. The winning car from one week ago. Getting a great ride. Joey DeWire's machine sits behind the wall, done for the night, tough break for him. O'Connell trying to move forward now as he tries to run down the mad dog, George Bissett. Bissett, a semi-regular competitor in the Grand State Pro Stocks here. Loves coming to this race track. He's got a ton of laps. As the field begins to string out now, McDonald out in front. Scotty McMichael goes to work on 
the back of Mike Scorzelli. That is deep in the field. That team has struggled with that 24 car today. A real handful. Mike O'Sullivan in the 08. Goes to work in the back of Ray Christian as he tries to pick up the fourth position. Brad Babb trying to join that fight as well. Babb in the Brain Baynard Brothers car. Mightily in practice was not at all happy with that race car. Now, all over the back of Dave Farrington. O'Sullivan looks to the inside of Christian. Christian gets a little loose off turn number four, gathers it up. King now works his way around Farrington. Josh King, car number 21, the electrician from Vernon, Vermont. Now in front, the outlaw continues to show the way. Second, Todd Stone. Third is Tommy O'Sullivan. We work our way towards halfway now. The battle between Christian and Mike O'Sullivan seems to have settled down now. As Devin O'Connell has run down George Bissett, goes to work on him for position. O'Connell wants to pick up every spot he can. Try to secure himself. If not the championship, are close to it, going to Waterford. Christian now, that's the battle for fourth. Christian in the red, black number 93. Well, Sullivan in that 08, the black and red and white machine. Connell now able to get clear of George Bissett. This guy, but Michael's going to try to follow him through as they head back toward turn number one. And Michael now to the inside on Bissett as they head down the back straightaway. That is a battle for position. It's like about 11th spot on the racetrack. Set is 11th, this time 5. Michael will be shown in 11th as he picks up the position. Joey Wyron, Derek Ramstrom, Larry Gelinas, and Dave Darling. The four cars out of the event. As we are halfway now, halfway. Eddie McDonald out in front, not really able to dominate, not able to stretch it out at this point.
Jones. Mike O'Sullivan now goes to work on the inside of Ray Christian. O'Sullivan on the bottom of the 0-8. Christian was on the outside of the 93, able to get back in front of O'Sullivan. As those two battling out, that's for the fourth position. Brad Babb right there as well. That is the only real racing on the racetrack at this point. Everybody else pretty well single file as now O'Sullivan settled in behind Christian. Looks like he's going to try to pull the tires off. Jimmy Renfro, a 15-year-old, his first time racing at this racetrack. Leaning on his old buddy Albie Ovin. Ovin, running a street stock here, as well as Anita Midget. Albie with uh, lots of laps all over the place. What a pseudo teammate to Jimmy Renfro. Scotty McMichael, Jimmy Renfro, great run in ninth, 
And the 10 position goes to Josh King in car number 21.